Hey Riley Besties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today I am so excited to be giving you guys some advice and five different tips for you to balance writing with school. If you guys don't know, I'm a full-time law student, video creator, and of course writer. And this video is for you to help balance your schoolwork with also your hobbies. And this can include your other hobbies, such as drawing, such as language learning, and everything like that. And in this video, I'm also gonna be telling you guys about a new hobby where I'm learning a language. I'm learning German through Lingoda, who is the sponsor of today's video but of course more about them soon anyways let's go ahead and get on to the video let's go okay so the first thing is to actually get your priorities straight this is kind of like a preliminary sort of thing that you should always do especially in different stages of your life so when you're studying maybe a new semester or you're going through another sort of round of hobbies for example it's really important to understand where your priorities lie i would hope and i strongly do encourage you guys to actually put your studies first in the priorities list i usually have three priorities and yes definitely try to keep your studies as number one however if i actually look at my own priority list youtube is my priority then it goes to writing and then my studies don't tell my parents but that's kind of just like how it is and I'm going to be talking about all my hobbies in this video and also my career and how I kind of use my hobbies and my career simultaneously to kind of encourage both areas of my life. And my other sort of priority, of course, is number four would go to my other hobbies. This can include learning a language, which I'm going to talk about soon. Um, drawing. I've been drawing quite a lot and sketching, which is so, so fun. Also poetry writing and music writing. These all go into the fourth category. So I encourage you guys to maybe just journal this out. Maybe just have a big long think of where your priorities lie and how much time you're willing to spend on each thing. Now that we have that out of the way, the next thing is to work on your hobby or work on your writing every single day. And I encourage you guys to write 100 words a day. And you're probably just like... Anna, like, I don't want to write every day. Like, that's kind of like, you know, ugh, I don't want to do that. And 100 words, that seems like nothing. Exactly, bestie, exactly. The main thing is that you open that document every single day to write. And I encourage you guys to write every single day. I try my best to write every single day because honestly, in order to be successful in both school and both writing, you can't just leave writing to the weekend. That won't work. You will literally get nowhere with your book and although there's some weeks that yes you would have to kind of do that, in the long run throughout the school year you're gonna have to write every single day after school or before school. So within this sort of tip I encourage you guys so so much to actually commit to your hobby every single day and have that little goal to at least get you to start a hobby. Another example is um, Lingoda. I just need to simply learn one word of German, which I'm learning German, guys. Isn't that so, so cool? So, of course, just commit to that. If I just open my language learning app and I just learn one word, that is fine. At least I tried. And that is what commitment is. It's simply showing up. And even if you don't perform as well as you think you will, that is totally fine. But anyways, speaking of Lingoda, I'm actually also really excited to talk about my career in this video to do with like school slash uni because if you guys don't know i yes i want to become a writer however since i'm studying law and a double degree in international relations and government i actually really want to go into diplomacy and government work in the future if i can and hopefully work for like human rights or something like that internationally and i was so so excited for lingoda to reach out to me because i've always wanted to learn a new language and this is especially helpful for jobs for me and i think it would be super helpful for you if you guys have ever wanted to learn a language this is your sign i really encourage you guys to check out lingoda i've been using lingoda for the past week and i have adored it i've been learning german as i said previously and i am just having the best time Lingoda is a leading online language school focusing on offering maximum flexibility and quality live classes to students. So basically Lingoda is super flexible and live classes are available 24-7. You can learn in small groups with other people or even just one-on-one -on -one with professional language teachers across the world. So you can learn whenever you want, day or night, weekend or weekday. Lingoda is probably one of the most flexible and best language learning platforms for students because as you guys know, me, you, we have school, we have homework to do, we have our writing and other commitments and it's so so great that Lingoda allows you to actually schedule your classes in which suits you best. 
best because of course it's so hard and so busy all the way through the school year. So if you always wanted to learn a language, Lingoda can support you through this. And to talk about my sort of career choice, uh, I definitely think learning a language will help me so much. So I'm really excited to actually be learning German. Guten Tag! <laughs> And obviously it's gonna help so so much on my resume if I have some background in the German language and also something that's really exciting that I haven't told on my YouTube channel is that I might be studying abroad soon in the Netherlands which I am so excited I actually just submitted my application yesterday fingers crossed I get in and I'm able to actually go to Amsterdam and use my German language skills to speak um, and I'm just so excited so please definitely check out Lingoda down below and use my link I really encourage you guys to definitely just like take this leap of faith. Lingoda has helped me so so much and I've been practicing a lot and they have so many modes of learning. They have flashcards which I've literally been learning so so much from. They of course have the online classes and quizzes and everything you need in order to learn the language properly. And Lingoda is actually really soon having a language sprint which basically gets you in the fast lane in order to reach your language learning goals so so quickly. The language sprint goes for two months and it's an intensive course that will help you reach your language goals. There are actually two types of sprint challenges. One is the sprint and also the super sprint. So the sprint is where you need to take 15 classes per month for two months. And upon successful completion, you will actually receive 50% cash back. Yes, 50% cash back. And the super sprint, on the other hand, is where you need to take 30 classes for two months. And upon successful completion, you receive 100% cash back. So definitely check out these two super cool sprints that you guys can undertake to take your language learning process to the next level. And also use my code, which is Anna New, all caps, when you sign up to Lingoda today. Definitely sign up today and check out Lingoda down below. So stay committed to your language learning goals and add a new hobby to your list because no matter how busy you are, there's always time for learning a language. Anyways, thank you so much Lingoda for allowing me to explore the German language and I'm starting to learn my first second language. Um, I'm so excited to continue using Lingoda and I maybe will update you and how it goes. But yeah, thank you so much Lingoda. Okay, so the third tip is to actually understand, and this is kind of like another preliminary sort of idea before you commit to a schedule or some sort of goal, and that is to understand if you're a night rider or a morning rider. I am actually a very much night rider, although on the back of that I do encourage you guys to try morning riding. I did try it for a week and a video is going to come out soon where I do a collab with another author tuber. Ooh. And I tried waking up 5 a.m. every single day for a week to write. And honestly, if you're a morning writer or at least wake up early, do this. Wake up really early and write. I don't want to say definitely wake up early, wake up at 5 a.m., do this, do this, because that's not really realistic in terms with, you know, being tired from school and everything, you know what I mean? But if you already have that in your routine, just jump for it. I really encourage you to. The reason why I say this is because um, if you're a night rider, sometimes riding before bed, you could have had a really tiring day and your energy levels are going to fluctuate from day to day. However, when you wake up early, you know, it's, it's always a clean slate. You always have that same feeling. You're going to be so much more awake because you wake up every single day at that time. However, when the day goes by, of course, things can happen. You might need to have to pull an all-nighter, but if you always wake up early, it's just so much more consistent and you're able to actually have a schedule around that routine. But if you're a night rider and you simply can't do mornings like me, just pick a time to write. My favorite time is around 4 to 5 p.m. at least, where I can see the sun actually going down. Try to pick a time where something changes and it's kind of like a trigger. So the sun setting for me is my trigger. Maybe for you being in a library is your trigger or being at a particular spot at your uni or at your school might be another sort of trigger. Just try to find something that you can do consistently day by day. It can be, yeah, the sun, it can be lighting a candle, it can be being in a particular place at some time. Just make sure something changes within your day so it kind of marks that thing the same way morning writing would when you simply wake up. That's your trigger. So yeah, make sure you understand if you're a morning creator or a nighttime creator. And then you can, of course, create your routine around that. The fourth tip is actually a very interesting one, and that is to make sure that your hobby is flexible, your writing is flexible. And I give the example all the time that Google Docs, I use Google Docs because if you don't use Google Docs, 
oh my gosh, please do. Basically, the main thing that I love about Google Docs is that it's so flexible and it can be used on any device. Sometimes I'm on the bus and I'm reading or writing my novel. Sometimes I'm on my iPad and I have some minutes before my class starts, so I'll maybe do some edits. Find time to actually write. So here I have my desk, and of course my desk is where I usually write, get a whole bunch of my writing done. But I think it's important to practice being proactive outside of your main workspace. So for example, my other hobby, which is drawing, I usually like to draw in my room because I feel very, um, like, you know, um, very self-conscious about other people peeping over my shoulder. However, just break that barrier. Like, try to be proactive outside before school. So instead of just having my sketchbook, I've decided to buy Procreate on my iPad so I can draw at school. So I don't have to, of course, lug my huge sketchbook around, which is so thick. You know what I mean? Try to find flexible ways to be proactive. And I think on the back of that, it's really important to simply know that you don't need to be physically writing words to develop your book. You can simply be thinking about it. You can simply be brainstorming in your mind, maybe on the side of your notebook where you're supposed to be writing your law class notes. Like, you know, it's flexible. So when you find time, and of course it's really important to not think about it too much, but just remember that if you have some spare time, you're just waiting for a friend, think about the next scene you're gonna write because constantly thinking about your book will inspire you to continually write it and thus make it a habit to write every single day as per the second tip I gave you guys. So just think about that for a little bit. Okay, so the last tip, this is the last tip besties. And that's basically to make a habit tracker. And usually I like to do a to-do list basically for every day. And usually that's where I write my priorities. So writing, schoolwork, YouTube, Try to work on your hobbies every single day, as I kind of said before, but of course, track it. And the main thing here is to have a goal. And this goal is really small and doable. For example, write 100 words, sketch one portrait, learn five German words, like simply make it really easy and then you can build from there. It's really, really simple, guys. And I know it's sometimes really hard to get into that habit, but once you start from small, you can get bigger, 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 and make more progress and bigger strides. It's similar to just like a baby crawling. Like when you were a baby, you were crawling, and then as you grow and get better at crawling, get better at crawling, you start to walk, and therefore take bigger strides and get to the end of the room faster, get to your goals faster. It's the same sort of thing. And of course, I'll reiterate that in order to be successful in both your schoolwork and your writing work or your hobbies, you need to simply work at it every single day or at least every two days. Don't leave it for the weekend. Try to integrate it into your routine and I swear to you, you will make progress. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely subscribe to my channel. And of course, please, please go check out Lingoda if you guys want to learn a language. It's such an amazing web app and I've had so much fun learning German. Definitely click the link down below and maybe if there's a code, I'm not sure if there is, definitely use the code if it's there. And definitely join their writing sprint, which is in a couple of days. So definitely jump on that bandwagon to learn a language in literally two months. It's amazing. So definitely go check Lingoda out. And thank you again, Lingoda, for sponsoring this video. Anyways guys, I hope your writing and your schoolwork is going well. I hope these really simple tips helped and again, I really really hope you're doing well and taking care of yourself as well. Anyways, I love you guys and hope to see you in my next writing video. Bye!